And uh, yeah, this will be means this composition and this gamma n r oh the gamma n k m r x one. This composition, right? This composition to then go to algebra. is a monomorphism. Okay. So in other words, actually this only shows that this E restrict to this subgroup is a monomorphism. Right? Okay, so now you see what's the next step. Actually, the next step actually just kills off this one. So you look at the quotient one. Okay, so I just say one more step, then you know what's the general argument. Okay, so next step is the following. Okay. So now you look at Km R X1 Xm quotient out by gamma M. So K M R X one. On this side, you quotient out by quotient out by degree M element. In other words, this is the n-fold product of augmentation ideal. Okay, so just this because you see these guys already goes to elements like this. This is exactly the degree n. Now you cut this cake. Okay, so this will be induced as a homomorphism in this one. Now what you can do? Search next one. Now the tail inside here, gamma m minus one. Okay, then then cut by gamma m. This is injective here. And uh, look at this, this guy to here. It's a monomorphism. In the game, this one you can write down as a commutator lens of m minus 1, right? Commutator lens is m minus 1. You use the same method to check. And uh, you check the image here. Oh, they are linearly independent. And, uh, actually, you not just work out this is a faithful, you work out the basis on this side as well. Okay, so you keep doing this machine and then, then eventually you see this uh, will be faithful representation, right? Okay. Okay, so that's the... Yeah. Now, okay, so now I use... Ah. Yes. Uh, what about the image of this E? Uh, does it contain all invertible elements? Uh, maybe not. Right? Yeah. Maybe not, because uh, let's see if I take uh, some elements like uh, one, one plus xi plus xj, maybe this will be a strange element, because this E will be. Mm -hmm. Uh, this is it can be think about quotient from the form power series, Q of everything. So, or something started with one, you can find the uh, inverse inside here. Mm -hmm. right? It will be more than that. Ah, so before I say, so now I will use this one to make application to home to theory, right? Before that, let me say this some remarks. Actually, this is related to functors. This, this representation is actually, and this cone group actually very natural for functors. So let me give some remarks first. Okay. And this group, uh, yeah, let me think here, okay. So this is, uh, mm, Okay, so now I just give some remarks, right? About this, uh, these cone groups, okay? So this is in algebra, okay, actually this is in algebra. 
These are very natural objects. So let me see, consider the following. Okay. So I consider functor. First of all, I have a, I can, you can define over any R. Now you can actually to be any, any R, any commutative ring. Okay. So I look at the R, can be any commutative ring. So in our case, we can apply this case, right? Say maybe with unit or, okay. So now, let's see, I can consider tensor algebra. Okay, so in other words, this guy just M. And I choose V to be three R modules. Okay, so I just any three R modules. Okay, so I just think about. It. And uh, now, inside this tensor algebra, we have the following structure. Okay. So you have the first of all you have a multiplication, right? So one T V is algebra. You just take from <laughs> multiplication by words. Okay? So multiplication given by words. by just adding together, like, like AX, uh, A1 tensor with C, AS times B1, BT, just add together, okay? Just put, put them together, okay? That's the, yeah, that's the multiplication, okay? Now, then there's a diagonal. So this diagonal map is what I denote by psi, or so some people call the actually co-algebra structure. Okay, this is the TV goes to TV tensor with TV. This is algebra map. Okay, so send product to, to product. And send each A belong to V, right? A goes to A tens one plus one tens A. Okay? This is the only inside here. Okay? And actually this is the only po possible natural map you can put in here. So that means T, V is what? <coughs> okay. So T, V is so-called half algebra. Okay, so about well, this part, I'll just make you some remarks, so you get some impression how the algebra get into here, okay? Now, let me take the following, okay? Let me just take uh, another one. CV, I just take uh, R plus V, okay? Uh, I have a question here. Usually when we uh, talk about Hopf algebras, uh, we have an antipod. This one exists, connected half algebra. Ah. <laughs> this is connected half algebra. Antipod is the, is what? It's anti-homomorphism, send A to minus A. That's all you need, right? A to what? Send A belong to V to minus A. Minus then you make anti-homomorphism. I see. In tensor algebra. Okay. And then it will work. Okay. Exactly works. Okay. Right. Uh, there's the antipod and, uh, well, everything can be recovered from the, uh, Co-multiplication. You only need to have a co-multiplication, and then you can recover the structure of Hopf algebra. So it's 
No, I don't think so. Y yes, there are okay. you, don't, you can't have two algebras with the same multiplication but different integrals. Okay, let's discuss later. Okay, so now I make this guy is actually trivial co-algebra. Okay. So co-multiplication here. Okay. So it's diagonal. Psi C V goes to C V tensor with C V. Okay. A belongs to V. A goes to A tensor one plus one tensor A. Okay, so just like that. Okay, so I just make that. Okay, so now I I said uh, I, I say I just try to see what his cone group is. Okay, I just make a remark. So when you put this setting, now you can ask several questions. First one, if you start with here's the half algebra information. If I look at all co-algebra map, let's look at the home first. Home. You see, this is A. Okay, so this is the co-algebra. Actually, uh, it's a, I need a condition, it's a co commutative right? Let me write the commutative. Co-algebra, and this is Hall. Okay. Okay. Inside all these homes, linear, linear maps, you have a multiplication, so-called convolution product. G, okay, this is complete. So this is algebra. Uh, actually, you need only algebra. Yeah. You need algebra. Now, next, uh, next one, you need a uh, half algebra. Now I can consider the situation that now I not just look at the home. I look at the Co-algebra maps. Okay. Okay. Now you require your morphisms comparable with the co-multiplications. This becomes to be a group. And the multiplication given by convolution product. Because this is an uh, antipode exists, so group structure exists. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. So now, now let me make a remark for the relation. Okay. So there are some very basic construction like this tensor algebra, this C V trivial, trivial one, right? This is a basic basic functor. Here's the relation. <coughs> so you can look at the co-algebra of C depends on V as a functor tensoring with M and goes to T depends on V okay look at all natural transformations this is the okay okay these are Exactly, the cone group is. And the generator exactly, you go project down to C of this, inclusion to that. That's because uh, you, you will watch that this actually, as a linear map, controlled by permutations. Right? This is some natural transformation between tensor products you can write down. But, uh, if you take tensor, this one, you have several copies of tensor product appears. Okay. And uh, there's a natural transformation you can embed it into home, right? So take home or linear maps from C and okay, this guy's okay. Okay. 
Okay, <laughs> these are those guys. And this representation is actually it's a good computer by that. Okay, it's coming from canonically. This one. Okay. Now, where the, uh, the cone group H group, it was defined as the equalizer, right? It's, yes? Uh, what does it mean? Um, it means that we can see there uh, all natural transformations between these functors such that they are coalgebra maps. Yeah, yeah. Exactly like you take any CV, you go, this depends on, you must be a natural transformation and such that this, uh, uh, or this co-multiplication is that you permute. Okay, yeah. yeah. And tensor 2, T, no, this TV tensor 2, and uh, FV tensor FV, and this commute. It's just like this. And of course, you can co map it because you always send the bottom one, one goes to one. So the map will be like x goes to one plus y. Okay, I think uh, she's speaking this will be goes to start with this one, you subtract the one, then it will become to be like in bending. So in that way. And this exactly corresponds to this one. Okay, now, and uh, it is actually also very good. You, you can now you can look at the tensor algebra, okay? So I denote by Jm v just j from zero up to m v tensor m or tensor with j tensor length up to n, and this is a sub algebra. Right? Okay. If you do that, it will cover exactly cover all concrete. So H M R isomorphic to Co-algebra of uh, well, what I denote up to degree m, right? T. Nothing. Okay. So algebraically, this is fully under control as a natural transformation of func functors. That's that's all, right? And the good thing, of course, is yes, some home to be uh, information. Okay. And uh, yeah, of course, you can think about the home as well. This is actually part of this one, right? Home. Well, you can see GM to T of this one. Well, you can say home. This will be just some another you can think about another representation. So you you get a co-algebra map from here. You just forget the co-algebra structure as a linear transformation. And uh, that will be given by what? What is the home here? Each level, there's only possible map is natural transformation between this because they are orthogonal and these are all given by permute positions so that's why this uh, uh, module representation theory of symmetric groups just get into here so it's exactly touch with the representation theory these are all possible maps okay <coughs> okay so now uh, so this is just a remark uh, now we back to our story. We want to what? We want to produce this uh, faithful uh, representation, right? Of KM, we want to say you produce some applications to get uh, some actually pretty deep result on the uh, in homotopy theory. So here's the case. Uh, let me. Yeah, I think I just start the example first, right? I. Yes. What's the group algebra of K of the quantum group? Group algebra? Yeah, I mean, you look at it as a group and then you can extend this homomorphism from the group algebra. Ah, that's uh, right. You can stand it like this, right? Go like 
this way, right? Mm. I'm not I'm not sure the answer yet, but there's a question. Okay, so the only uh, the thing I can see that this is invented already. Uh, now, of course, there's a map. I'm not sure what, what happens for this one. Okay, and actually, uh, this algebra you see, if you look at the group uh, group uh, rings of that, right? Group algebra of that. Uh, there should be some connections, but maybe not exactly the same, I think. Mm -hmm. May not be exactly the same. Because this, uh, if you look at the group algebra, let me see. If you look at the uh, associated uh, graded by augmentation ideals, it must be a half algebra, right? Because there's a, uh, and it doesn't seem to me that this guy has a half algebra structure. <laughs> right. so this algebra is very big, but this is small. This is small. You can depend in the smaller one, right? Yes. Uh, this may be bigger, big one, yeah. Yes, one of them is finite dimensional, and one, mm -hmm. and this group algebra is uh, finite dimensional, or not? This is finite dimensional. There's no monomials to go up, uh, up yes, above. Yes, yes, yes. Because uh, they, they, they just uh, uh, stopped, right? There's no homogeneous term more than degree n. Like, you can go invent there something like you cut down, cut the cake, so like make a smaller algebra. You can but this group is infinite. Uh, yes, yes, of course. Right, that's not fine. So the group algebra is. It's just something bigger, right? Yes. Yeah. Can I was just wondering how to understand forgetful functor from algebra's map. Oh, forgetful functor, right? Yeah. Well, co algebra map, you, I, I would say the law will be like this f, go here, you take f minus trivial map, right? Trivial. Okay. Because uh, co algebra map, you will be only degree zero is identity. Okay, so keep R, uh, bottom one. Then subtract that this is the best one. Then just, uh, just for forgettable, just a linear map. So it's just the forgetful factor? Yeah, just forgettable. Yeah, but uh, I was just wondering how to understand it on, on, as, uh, like oh, as this side. Yeah. Because each xi, you think about this, uh, this map given by this projection go here and they represent the yi. It's the same. Take projections. Right? And that's that's the correspondence. Okay. Yeah. So and actually I I would say more actually there, there's something more in here. This one is, is somebody people actually there's some more connections from this side. This is a symmetric group algebra. And uh, there's a sub-algebra inside here I saw from representation like this Solomon descent algebra can be detected from this natural transformation as well, which is the, just the sub-algebra, look at tensor algebra, you project down to Tm of V, go back to here, you create a sub-algebra. This will be free algebra, and then it cakes exactly, you get some Cushing algebra of symmetric group algebra, then I look at the name, so called exactly the, the Solomon descent algebra. Okay, okay but uh, anyway, so there, there will be a lot of story actually in algebra part, right? So we back to application to homotopy, right? Okay, so back to here. So to do that, let me just let's see, because the general argument will be similar. So I look at the following case, okay? I want to, let me pick a required way a little bit. So we have the subgroup, let's say Z, P to the R. This is a certain subgroup inside. Right? Xm. And uh, this group actually goes to the Good things that this group will goes to what? Uh, what we call Jm x uh, to under some map f, right? F from sigma square x to uh, y, so will could be loop of y, right? Some mapping can detect this one. Okay, so uh, we want to do that one, right? Okay, so now what do we want exponent want to see? Well. Let me just look at the case, so which case, look at, the, yeah, I look at the, let's look at this one. So, let's 
So I try to see how useful of this representation. Okay. So I look at the following. So I look at the x element of this x p to the three minus one and the p to the r plus two. Okay. So let me see what's the geometric meaning of this one first. Okay. Now we then we compute in algebra. So this means that I have a filtration. So this means p to the three minus one x inclusion to jx, and then you got loop f. So you got a loop x f is oh, let me put it suspension square x to y. Right? I need another suspension. Okay, with p to the r times f equal to zero in y. Right? We said there's a hypothesis like this. So then we have this map, and now you put p to the r plus one. So I put p to the r plus, r plus two. To that, right? This is the in, in, in geometry it will be like this composition. Okay. So now I use this algebraic game, try to compute this element. This element belong to the H uh, P to the three minus one Z P to the R. So this is a subgroup in K P to the three minus one, right? Z P to the R. Okay, now we have a faithful representation. Go to this algebra. <laughs> okay, R and uh, this p to the three minus one. This is the depending on y one, right? Okay, so now I want to compute. So I want to look at the e of this one. Look, look, look at this guy, right? And this is just equal to E x1 xp to the 3 minus 1 of product and then p to the r plus 2, right? Okay, so now I do computation, okay? So, but now, whatever, this, this element is in here, right? In this algebra. So in this algebra, it has to be equal to one plus something. Let me call that, <laughs> okay? Just some element because this will be that will be some linear part and uh, degree two, degree three. Just add up this whatever in the tail. So this will be in the augmentation ideal. Okay. R plus two, fine. Okay. Now I treat that as one element, so I can spend spend by this one, so this should be equal to 1 plus p to the r plus 2, choose 1, that plus uh, p to the r plus 2, choose 2, that square, right? Okay, now I think this, this one I need to cut uh, two pieces here. So let me write uh, these terms will be like this, equal to 1 plus yeah, p to the r plus 2, choose 1, that until uh, p to the r plus 2, choose p to the 3 minus 1, that uh, to the p to the 3 minus 1 plus higher term, right? P to the R plus 2, choose P to the 3, that to the P to the 3, and more. Okay? And uh, I use this property of A. This part is zero, 
because it has degree uh, greater than or equal to p to the three, and this algebra has a no nothing in degree above p to the three, right? This is uh, algebra is small, so only control here. And then second the same, I look at uh, this term. <laughs> okay, I just watch this term. This term, there are some binomial coefficient comes out. Okay, so let's see. P to the R plus two, I think that's, you, you can see, it's not difficult to compute, right? Choose J equal to what? P to the R plus two over J P to the R plus one. Uh, what do I say? Minus one over something J minus one, right? Okay, so now there's only two cases. I think the, uh, here's the answer. You can see. Well, okay, so this will be P to the R plus two times some integer, right? Okay, this is where P is not divisible by, uh, yeah, no, no P factor in here. So let me use zero, okay? This is zero. And uh, if you have a, it could be P to the R plus one times integer. If uh, uh, this is a J uh, equal to P times Q, and the Q is prime to P, right? only one, and then p to the r times integer, and if j equal to say p square, in th this range only have one p square times something, right? Mm -hmm. p square times, yeah, p times, times something, okay. So, because this time I, I restrict to p to the three minus one, so this cannot be a multiple of p again. So this time automatically p is not divided by Q. So that's, you can take away two, two copies of P's, and in all case will be zero, right? So, zero. So what that mean? This means trivial, right? Okay, so this concludes that, so, so this tells that Conclusion that uh, this is zero. It's one, not zero. Okay, x one p to the three minus one p to the r plus, uh, r plus two is actually equal to one. Right? I think now it's easy. You will see patterns go to more general. Right? So the pattern, if you go to x one, let's say x p to the two, this will be t plus one minus one, p to the r plus t will be one. That's a, that's a formula, pretty new. So, then say t go to higher and higher, what does it mean? This means that if you this map restrict to, to p to the t plus one minus one x, okay, and then if goes to here, and then go, no, suspension x, right? And then you take loop half, and then you take p to the r plus t's power, this will be trivial. Okay? So let me write a consequence on homotopic loop. Okay? So, so on homotopic loop, this is the, like this. Yeah. Can be some theorem like this, right? Okay, so theorem will be like this, okay? So suppose, suppose, right? 
f is a map from double suspension x to y, okay, with a p to the r times f equal to zero in this group. Then p to the r plus t times image of f star pi j suspension, double suspension x goes to pi j y, it will be zero for j smaller than p to the t plus one times connectivity of x plus one minus one. Right? Here's x is connectivity. In other words, you start with a space, say I have a, say five connected, then you look at this um, image, actually this power go very slowly, like, but it's uh, huge, like p to the t plus one time multiple by that, you will be always uh, trivial. And this, that's the, that's, 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 right? And then of course generalize the better result, what he said, p to the r plus one, you put here, so they could be up to p, t equal to one, means p square. So up to p, below p square, it is okay. And also you go to p, p to the r plus two, you below p to the three, and so on and so on, right? Okay, so now, uh, yeah, so this is the very nice, uh, result, use this uh, algebraic trick, but uh, the point, of course, better conjecture is still open. This is still goes up. So, better conjecture says that you just put p, t equal to 1 will kill everybody, right? So then. That's why we don't have r here, p to the r. Oh, this is uh, because uh, the counting here, R is uh, start with uh, order here. <laughs> the order here, okay. This is the not. Right. So now let me. So what's the, say a little bit, what's the potential way for attacking Valid conjectures, right? Let me write here, okay? So let's write on words, because this is still open question, right? Taking Okay? So if you uh, try to solve this extremely, like, a, like something like a double field mental question. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, now here's the next step you need to do. So it is very good, it, so far, you get something like, uh, you get a loop, suspension square, root x, and uh, some loop of y. Okay, so you have a coin group in this, yeah? Okay, so there's some groups like hm of, uh, this is not, yeah, I, I just put h. P to the R, okay, you can depend on M, J, M of this one, right? This is the group of here, so it depends on F, right? Given F here, okay, F from, let's call a C that depends on F, right? So you have to, like this map, right? We can make like this group homomorphism here. Now the, the point, how can you go be actually the better conjecture talk about the double loop space. So you have to something what do you mean double loop space. So here's a natural group homomorphism. You just put the omega in both sides. So this is omega, means G, any map goes to omega G. And this is a group homomorphism. Group homomorphism. So, with what we see here is that this one mapping to here is a group homomorphism, 
and uh, you will watch that this exponent seems to still go uh, all, <laughs> right, uh, all the way up. And the conjecture says that if you compose this homomorphism, the exponent will be stopped. Now, from the way of the combinatorial view or algebraic view, you need to find something which adding some relations. Okay, so make this group get down. The hope is that this will factor through here. Okay, then, then if you are lucky to get the correct relations to make this group has exponent exact, say p to the r plus one, then the image identity of this map omega uh, Omega square f is coming from the heat, this one. So this one must have to be omega p to the r plus 1. Well, vanish, right? So the games, all you need, whatever we can get, find the relation, right? Some relations. So you need to find some relations. Now, let's see whether it's possible. Let me make a very basic assumption whether it's possible you get any relation or not. Well, there's an obvious relation. This is a non commutative group. This is a non-commutative group. This is a building group because it is, <laughs> it is a double loop space, right? So first thing, of course, you, you, no problem. You've just factored through the abelianization. And actually, we have this, uh, I, let, I, I worked out the so-called, we get a shuffle relations, right? There's some shuffle relations uh, in here, but it seems insufficient to determine the exponent. But when you add in shuffle relations, this automatically become to be a, a abelian group and it become to be a ring, actually. There's some self-composition. So the composition rule inside here, go to here, it's actually, yeah, that's exactly compositions by, by this half invariance. So it's, it's, and in this, this, this level you can call it semi-ring because one side is home and another side doesn't work. When you go to here, adding these shuffles, it is just actual ring. And uh, well, it's very nice, nice property, but, but the exponent is still stay there. Yeah. Okay, so that's what we try to attack. So anybody can try to attack as a continuation for the ballot conjecture, right? Okay, now, uh, and now because I'm getting to, I think uh, I'll, uh, before the end, I draw some picture how the cone group uh, is. Okay, so this is the. Uh, connections of cone group to other topics. Okay. Okay. So now I write here. Okay. So that's what we talked, right? I pick up this cone group. So we construct it. So it actually connected to many things. So first one will be. So there's a natural mm, transformations. Of on big suspension, right? That way we start to play this one. And uh, it's a related question. Okay. Go this direction. So this is the exponent problem. Ballot conjecture. Okay, that's that's one direction you can go. Uh, second one. Second one actually I make a remark for identify this group as a natural so this is the H, actually this cone group R is isomorphic to uh, co-algebra TT. Okay, so yeah, it's a natural, exactly natural transformations of this tensor algebra. And uh, this will be, can go to in algebra, many things. Okay, so this is a representation theory. of 
the powers. Actually, there's a we got a very uh, there will be a famous one classical result. We actually call you will get some functorial or equivalent version of the Pankalai per cop weight and seal. Okay, so this is called Pankalai per cop weight and sealing. It says that you get half algebra, it always can be think about uh, free commutative algebra generated by Lee powers. Okay, now, and it turns out that this proof it depends on the choice of basis. It's not equivalent. If you want to ask the functors, this is exactly you have to play this game. So we can produce all this. And, uh, but uh, these functors are actually related to the representation of, of the general linear groups. So it's, you can ask equivalent version of the Pankalai-Perkov weighting theorem. Well, that will be detected this understanding these functors. Okay, so that's the yes. Okay. Equivalent. Oh, this will be like uh, general linear groups. Equivalent. Version. So you think about like a TV, something like a uh, core lambda V. And this is the classical one, right? Okay, so you this kind of this is may not be true over. Is you may in general may not be true over general linear group, right? So now you you try to decompose this this same uh, core decompositions over general linear groups like create uh, equivalent version. Right. Okay, and uh, that's all these things will be related to each other like as functors, general linear groups when. V is sufficiently large, dimensions are very large, they are corresponding to each other. Okay, so now, and actually we also, we observed that this is the, uh, this will be, right, you get, actually this is a, Spec sequence on homotopy. Okay, so this uh, this will be the got some. Uh, uh, this actually you can see from the way this group can be got the play as the natural transformations. from the free group to the completion of free group. Okay, so this will be the inverse limit. Right, take a free group over gamma m. And that, that's exactly you can play. And this will be go that as well, right? So you have a, a lot of combinatorial group theory will be in, in this uh, this, uh, these pictures, right? Okay, so yeah, I think that's like uh, so. It's uh, this guy seems. Uh, I say it seems. Uh, I would say it's very fundamental and important. The connected topology, and the algebra, group theory, and the several things. And the key point uh, he started to look. Uh, Milner's links also. Oh yeah, yeah, exactly. I forgot this is this group K M. Exactly what he defined over Z. This is the uh, Munis. Exactly the Munis homotopy link group. Uh, of the triple link, right? And link. Okay, so exactly. It's like the same. They just, they just are the same. Uh, Define. So, so you see, this will be go to low dimension topology as well. You look at this uh, uh, not theory. They were connected, but all these schemes seems in the picture, right? Recently, one paper uh, appeared in the archive uh, by Friedman and Kruskal, mm. where they 
uh, use this Cohen group in uh, surgery or for dimension. <laughs> okay, that's, yeah, that's a few. Right, sure. I don't know. There are too many, so let me put it down. down, down. Right. Okay, so maybe I should be, I should stop here for, right, for this topic.